Daft as a brush cancer patient care founder, Brian Burney, is on an epic 7,000 mile walk. His aim is to provide free transport for cancer patients all over Great Britain and Ireland. Starting in Gateshead in March 2018, Brian has walked more than 3,000 miles to Holyhead in North Wales. As Brian, his wife Cheryl and the Bluebell bus arrive in Dublin, they're given great encouragement by the Lord Mayor. My name is Neil Ring, I'm the Lord Mayor of Dublin and it's great to meet Brian here in Dublin before he embarks on his wonderful adventure around the Emerald Isle. I know he's done a huge amount of walking in Britain so far in his quest to get a million cancer patients transport to and from hospital and I know he's doing 7,000 miles. Um, I know he's going around Ireland over the next few weeks and months and I really wish him all the best. It's a wonderful thing to do, it's a wonderful way of reaching out and it's a wonderful way of giving. Supported by Cheryl, Brian has been walking up to 20 miles a day along the coast of Ireland in all weathers. The things I do for the cancer chair is unbelievable. Here we are outside of O'Brien's Tower built in 1835 on the cliffs of Moher. And to say it is windy is an understatement. It is blowing an absolute bloody hurricane. And Newcastle have just been beat 3 1, I've been told, by Liverpool. Well, here we are at the South Pole. Yes, really, the South Pole, but the South Pole Inn. The advert says um, hot food and cold beer. The temperatures that today, I think we do with warm beer. We've just come down from the Connor Pass where the weather was absolutely horrendous. We've got absolutely saturated. So we've now come to this lovely pub that was set up by a Mr. Tom Crean, who was one of those explorers in the early 1900s that went out to the South Pole. And from here we'll go into Inch Beach and then on to Killarney. As Brian walks towards the city of Cork, he discovers outstanding heritage and breathtaking countryside in the Killarney National Park. Well, this morning we left um, Killarney and we're now at Muck Ross Abbey behind us here. It's absolutely stunning. There are gravestones everywhere. Unfortunately, everybody's dead. That's another story. We'll continue through the woods, uh, the Killarney National Park, into the house. And they tell me this is the property that was done up for Queen Victoria. They spent that much money and the family eventually went bust. Well, we've now arrived at what's known as Ladies View and this was called that because when Queen Victoria came here in the mid 1800s her ladies in waiting actually came here and they were so impressed they've called it Ladies View. It's part of the Killarney National Park and it really is stunning. As you can see over my shoulder here the views are absolutely fantastic. Arriving in the city of Cork Brian receives an invitation to discuss the charity's work. I was delighted to meet Brian today on his epic journey of 7,000 mile walk across um, Great Britain and Ireland. It's truly a phenomenal um, effort. And he's doing this for a very worthy cause, the Daft as a Brush um, initiative, which provides cancer transport for, for people who need transport to hospital and for care. It's a fantastic initiative and it's an initiative that I would well relate to. 
Um, I work as a GP in Cork, um, as well as being Lord Mayor of Cork, and I see at first hand the challenges that people face in accessing uh, transport for their cancer treatment. And an initiative like this would take an awful lot of stress and anxiety off patients and provide a fantastic support. Um, so I fully endorse the, um, the campaign and I wish Brian all the best in his endeavours and in his efforts. It's a phenomenal achievement in terms of walking over 7,000 miles around Great Britain and Ireland. I've just come out of a meeting with the Lord Mayor of Cork. There can't be many Lord Mayors are an actual practicing GP. So he knows all about cancer patient care and the issues that cancer patients have. Thank you very much for spending the time with us and uh, we look forward to seeing the people of Cork again when we provide our first transport for cancer patients. Walking the coast of Ireland, Brian has met hospital staff, Lord Mayors and many well-wishers, all supporting his dream of creating one million free cancer patient journeys. Six months, 1,500 miles and three million steps. That's what it's taken Brian to walk around the island of Ireland. It was made possible by the amazing generosity and support from everyone at Bus Erin, Ireland's national bus company. Looking past the camera, looking over the water to Howarth, thinking it was six months ago that we were walking that cliff. And when I think of walking all around Ireland with Brian, well, he did most of the walking, but supporting him, um, it's, it's just a blur of everything fantastic. And I'm so pleased that it's gone off very well. We had the slight blip with him damaging his foot. But other than that, the people that we've met have been unbelievably supportive. And it's amazing, everyone we meet has a story to tell about their cancer journey. And it just gives us a little bit of a push every time we speak to these lovely people. So thank you, Ireland, for an amazing six months. September 2019 and the Bluebell team arrive back in North Wales. Brian's odyssey continues on the Welsh coastal path. He will walk the entire coast of southern and eastern England before returning to Gateshead by Christmas 2020. That's over 7,000 miles for the 75-year-old and perhaps a new world record. Can you help Brian create one million free cancer patient journeys? Please visit our website where you can discover more and make a donation. Thank you. <laughs>